Welcome back everyone to our series on Tefillah and Seder. In this video we're going to be discussing Berchus HaShachar, the morning blessings. If one takes a look at the morning blessings, one realizes that they're very specific. We have the bracha of Pokeach Ivrim, that Hashem opens up the eyes of those who can't see. We have Malbish Arumim, that Hashem clothes the naked. We have Zokiv Kafufim, we have the fact that Hashem straightens out those who are bent. All these brachos are very specific and very tangible, as opposed to other brachos, such as one which we find at the beginning of Shemona Esra, where we say that Hashem is kone akol, Hashem acquires everything, which is, of course, more general. Here in the morning blessings in the Berkas HaShachar, we're focusing on specific aspects of what Hashem does. There are advantages to each type of bracha, the general on the one hand and specific on the other, and I would like to focus on the advantages of the specific type of brachos, the berchos prat, the specific brachos like the berchos ha-shachar, as that is our topic. Now, obviously, the advantage of a specific bracha is the fact that it's specific. We're able to detail, lay out exactly what we're praising Hashem for. But I believe that this manifests itself in two ways. The first way is with regards to the way in which we thank Hashem. And I once heard this idea in a similar context. I think it applies here as well. Let me set up a scenario. Imagine, <clears throat> excuse me, if you wanted to invite a guest over for Shabbos. And it was a very special guest, and you were going to plan an incredible meal. You bought fancy meats, and you're preparing them for hours with special spices, and the way you cook them, everything to be just perfect, the way you lay out the food on the plate and serve it. And the meal comes, you serve everything, and after the meal, your guest turns to you and says, that was really delicious, thank you very much, and leaves. So you probably feel very good about yourself. Your guest enjoyed. However, imagine if instead of your guest just saying that thank you very much, the meal was delicious, your guest started to lay out for you every detail of what you put in. The meat was exquisite, the way you cooked it, and it was so juicy, and all the spices you used, the way you laid it out on the plate, and pointed out to you every detail that you yourself focused on. You would feel that much better by the fact that your guests realize all the work that you put into it. I think the same applies to when we're thanking Hashem. That when we thank Hashem in a more specific manner, the praise is that much greater. The appreciation that we show is just that much greater, and therefore it's a greater expression of thanks. Now, the second way in which it manifests itself, and this Rav Pincus explains, is the way it relates to ourselves. That when we focus on these brachos, when we say them and understand them, let's say for Pokeach Ivrim, we realize that certain things that we take for granted, that we believe to just be natural, really all comes from Hashem. We realize that Hashem is the one who opens up our eyes, Hashem is the one who allows us to get up out of bed, to stand up straight, He's the one who gives us clothes, and v'chule, v'chule, as you go through, you'll see all the different specific aspects of the brachos. And it really opens our eyes to the amount of kindness that Hashem does to us on a daily basis. It makes us realize all that we have to be thankful for. And therefore, I believe that when we look at the berachos hashachar, and we pay attention to what they mean, it really becomes a cyclical process that we start off by thanking Hashem in a very specific way, which, as we just pointed out, is an incredible form of praise. And through that praise, we then realize how much kindness Hashem does towards us. And with that realization, we then in turn realize how much more we need to go ahead and thank Hashem for, as He really is the one who allows everything to happen in our lives.